Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, January the 29th, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, there's a great article by David Brooks of the New York Times talking about what's happening with the teachers' union and going back to school. And uh, Mr. Brooks uh, writes about uh, the Chicago uh, Teachers' Union and the LA Teachers' Union. And in many of these places, the teachers' unions are refusing to go back to work. And that, of course, creates all kinds of problems for the parents. Uh, for example, here in North Texas, the schools are open. They have all kinds of rules and, and regulations. I mean, they have to sit you know, up, apart from each other. They're not all going to school at the same time. They have these uh, schedules, but, uh, but at least the kids are in school. They're not at home. And that allows uh, the kids to learn more. It also allows the kids to play sports and so on, which is an important part of, of school. And also it gives the parents a little bit more freedom, uh, especially if both parents are working from home, which is becoming now the norm in many cases, or, you know, you got one place, dad is over here working, mom's over here working. And then in the other room, kids are going to school. I mean, that's not exactly a very good situation uh, for learning, especially for the kids and for the parents who have to worry about doing their jobs and keeping tabs on, on the kids and making sure they do their job. So more and more schools in North Texas have gone back to school. The kids are in school. It seems to be working. But in some parts of the country, as Mr. Brooks writes in the New York Times, the teachers' unions are the ones basically standing at the door holding back uh, the kids. And this is creating a big problem. But it's also creating, in my opinion, a big problem for the teachers' union because they're starting to really upset the parents. And because, look, not every father, not every mother can, can do homeschooling. Homeschooling requires a parent at home, and that's not the case in many families with both parents are working. Not every parent can cut a check, a tuition check, to the private school, especially when they're already paying property taxes for the public schools. So I think the teachers' union is doing itself a tremendous disservice by the politics that they've chosen and by the approach that they've chosen. And they're going to put themselves out of business, in my opinion, because more and more parents are going to be looking for alternatives to public education. And we're going to get to a point where more and more parents simply see the teachers union as nothing but a political machine rather than an organization that cares about their kids. So the teachers union better pay attention to what's happening because what's happening is not going to be good for them or the teachers that they, uh, they represent. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.